Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here and welcome back. Today is December 7th of 2020. I am working from home today, so normally the sound is, is a little bit echoey here in my home. I hope it's not so bad. Apologies to you guys uh, if it is, but we've got to carry on. So the first thing we're looking at is Fiat Leak, and a lot of people always ask me, what is this? What is this? It's fiatleak.com. Um, seems like I do free commercial for them in every one of my videos, but they're nice people and I love their product. I love the look of this thing and I love watching XRP move out of USD and Tether. It's a, uh, it's a good site. So XRP is holding just below 61 cents. You know, it's funny. We were so frustrated holding at 30 cents and we were so frustrated holding at 40 cents at one point and we were definitely frustrated holding around 20 cents. Now we're holding around 60 cents. It's a lot easier to hold at 60 cents than it was at 20 cents, but I'm certainly excited about the big moves ahead, that's for sure. So let's uh, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna refresh Coin uh, Paprika here, see where the market is. All right, so the market cap's at 572 billion, Bitcoin's at 19,222. It is just wanting to get over 20,000. I know the whole world wants to see it over 20,000, except for the bears, and I sure hope we get there. Ethereum's at 595, XRP's at just under 61 cents. Uh, Tether is holding comfortably, safely, and cozy at $1. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me in the comment section, why do I always say Tether's a dollar? Guys, it's a joke. You guys know it's a joke. Most of you know it's a joke. It's a stable coin. It doesn't belong on this list. It's always supposed to be a dollar. I mean, what if, what if you know, there's there's 50 um, CBDCs out there? Are we going to have the first 50 coins be CBDCs, and we're going to have to say that they're, you know, they're at a dollar or whatever the base currency? Is? It's just it makes no sense. Tether doesn't belong here. It should be on a completely different chart. So, if the people from Coin Paprika are listening to my channel, get Tether off this list. Get stable coins off this list. Have a separate list that have stable coins. Anyway, enough of my rant. Let's roll into it. Before we get started, a big shout out and congratulations to my friend, the digital asset investor. He hit 100,000 subscribers. Big congrats to him. Um, it just shows you guys and shows everyone that, uh, uh, you know, his um, his tenacity and, um, and, and, and steadiness and every day, day in and day out. Uh, made the difference. I mean, you know, bad audio, squeaky chairs, Tic Tacs, um, Slim Jims, uh, Lifesavers, all that stuff, cinnamon in his coffee, all, you know, all the good, the bad, and the crazy, and, and he got himself to 100,000 subscribers, and it was well, well earned. He worked hard for that. So big congrats to him. Um, all right, let's jump right into it. So the first thing is Coinbase drops this on Friday, and this was tremendous good news, guys. Coinbase will support Flare Network Spark Airdrop. Customers in approved jurisdictions who hold XRP in their accounts on the snapshot date of December 12th will qualify for, to receive Spark tokens. We plan to distribute the airdrop after the Flare Network launch, which I think everybody's going to do. Everyone's doing that, so don't, I don't think that's any different. Now, I assume, and I say I assume, that approved jurisdictions means wherever Coinbase is presently working. Right, so wherever they're allowed to, um, or or maybe it also means because I know the New York Bit license is very difficult. So you may be a New York resident and and be able to use Coinbase now, but New York still has to approve the Spark token. So they may not be able to drop the Spark token in those areas. So I guess it could get tricky and could get hairy. There may be some people now that think they're going to get the Spark drop that may not get the Spark drop. So we're going to need some clarity on that. Who's going to get it and who's not going to get it. So so. Um, so it's probably not, if you have a Coinbase account, you're automatically gonna get it. You're probably gonna have to be in a, in, a, in a jurisdiction that allows any coin to be on the network. So it's uh, it's a little tricky. We're gonna probably get some more information between now and Saturday is the airdrop. I mean, the airdrop's coming, it's on the 12th. And and just so you guys know, it's on the 12th and it's, it's also uh, UT time. So it's really going to be on the 11th for people here in the United States. So you better, if you're moving your XRP, you better have it moved before the 11th just to be prepared. Um, but anyway, it was good news that they were doing it um, for the people who wanted to get it there. So I wanna share that with you. Okay, Brian Brooks, and we all saw the videos of Brian Brooks announcing that we expected 
better crypto clarity in the next six to eight weeks. And, and we were all sending out those videos back on Friday. Um, and, uh, and, and, and he also talked about banks being able to use cryptocurrency to send money transmissions. So essentially he was really talking about XRP, let's face it. Well, shockingly on Friday, um, we, we saw this, Maxine Waters uh, seeks rescission of OCC guidance may be part of anti-Trump, anti-crypto offensive. Okay, so Maxine Waters came out against the things that Brian Brooks is doing over at the OCC and is trying to pull back on him. Um, I don't know if she has the power or they have the weight to do anything right now um, while Trump is still in office. Um, and... Uh, you know, but but it was interesting that this came out. We don't know what this is about. You know, who knows if it's one party wants to take credit for something and doesn't want the other party to take credit for it, um, or if they're really against it because they have a lobby that's against it. I just can't. I just don't know. But uh, something tells me that it's they're still going to push on with this clarification. I don't think they're going to be stopped. And if anything, I think it's going to get going to get sped up a little bit. I think it's going to happen fast. You know, I hope it happens faster than the six to eight weeks. But we'll just assume it'll be the six to eight weeks from now. Okay, this was from Michael and, and who is that from? Oh, that was from James Rule XRP guys. And by the way, James Rule XRP he also has a YouTube channel. And he just passed 10,000 subscribers, I believe. So um, subscribe to James Rule on his YouTube channel. He's a great guy and a great supporter of, of people out here in the community and, and just an overall great guy. So support him. Michael at VAL 5 link, former Goldman, uh, Goldman Sachs hedge fund chief, says he's warming up to XRP, analyzing potential of third largest cryptocurrency. So good news. I mean, obviously, everyone has been paying, who's been paying attention knows that Wall Street is completely activated at this point. They're all jumping in. They're all suddenly crypto's okay. It's safe. It's good. All that good stuff. So this is the Ripple website, which, you know, the truth is I've never been a fan of any of their websites. Um, I think now it's too dark. Like this, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. But what, anyway, I want to show you one of their customers. So one of their customers on their website, it's right here on the front page, comes up Standard Charter. Standard Charter has been around a long time with Ripple. And what came out in the news today, I saw from Michael at VAL 5 link, is Standard Charter plans to launch a digital currency. And a lot of people are like, oh my God, they're launching a digital currency. Oh no, that's not good for XRP. Well, well, my thought process is we just saw Ripple came out with that tool for people to develop CBDCs. Um, and my guess is that probably Standard Charter, I'm guessing it's speculation, is probably working with the XRP ledger. They're probably working with, uh, with the people at Ripple to, to develop their own internal coin, just like a JPM coin. It's a walled garden, guys. It's so that Standard Charter can send from one of their offices to another one of their offices. It has nothing to do with Standard Charter sending money over to Mitsubishi Bank, okay? They're still gonna need XRP. It, just like we want all countries to have CBDCs, I'm okay with banks having their own digital currency. It's not gonna affect what, what XRP is looking to do out there. Okay, from XRP Crypto Wolf, XRP surpassed 60 million ledgers. The XRP ledger has settled over 60 million ledgers and keeps uh, paying silently over three to four seconds. So what that means is 60 million transactions, guys. That's massive, massive, massive amount. So that's fantastic, congratulations. I remember when it was just 50 and it wasn't long ago. Um, XRP Crypto Wolf also posted this, 81,564 XRP accounts are set up to claim the Spark airdrop with a total balance of 17.5 billion XRP. Wow, that's a lot, that's a whole lot. Uh, 621 million XRP holdings increased and 36,646 new XRP accounts have been created since Flare Network's announcement. Some people think that, you know, the value of XRP has been driven up by, by the Flare Network spark drop. I, I'm not, I don't believe that. Um, I, don't, I don't know that that's the case. I really think it's just the market started moving after PayPal included uh, Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies on their platform. But, uh, but some people believe that. Listen, we are so close to the spark drop, um, you know, and, and look, there's some fears that some people have that it may drive down the value of XRP after the drop because people are buying up XRP to get more spark tokens. I don't know that I agree with that either, but I can't say for, for certain. I, I just don't know that that's gonna happen. Um, but, uh, I, 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 you know, we'll have to see what the values of these spark tokens
interested in Spark tokens other than the XRP community initially. I mean, we're going to be the base community that you're trying to build this thing out on. People from the you know, Bitcoin community or from the Litecoin community, they're not going to jump over and go, oh my God, Spark tokens, let's get some. They don't even understand what's going on. So, so really, really Spark tokens initial survival and success is going to be dependent upon the XRP community buying and trading their tokens. That's, that's really part of the, part of the truth of all. Okay. From digital perspectives, um, at backup Bradley caution, caution, be careful what you click on. Okay. A lot of people are getting these, um, these texts and they're fake scam texts and they appear to come from ledger. They're not from ledger guys. Don't click on these things. And I get them every day from UPS and they're BS too. You, you just can't click on links. It used to, you, I used to think it was safe to click on anything on my phone. That's not the case anymore. You're not safe on your phone anymore. Um, Ledger's never going to send you guys a text. It's never going to happen, guys. So never click on their, on anything that hits you by text. Never give your seed phrases to anyone. Your, your, um, your 24 keywords. Um, I know people who have lost assets. Don't do it. So beware, beware, beware. Okay. All right. This, um, okay. This was Kevin O'Leary back in 2013. And by the way, before he was against Bitcoin in 2013, there's a video of him being for Bitcoin. And I, I don't have that video, but I want you to see a little bit of this one. Nice to see you in studio again this morning. Number one, what's going on with this like huge rise from $20 way up into the hundreds and then a precipitous fall yesterday? Well, let's remember that until yesterday, most people around the world never heard of Bitcoin. Bitcoin, for those who don't know it, is basically virtual currency, the right. same that you would get for blasting aliens in a video game, <laughs> except now traded globally. You can buy Bitcoins with virtually any currency on Earth and convert back into any currency or buy goods and services well, with Well, we it. talked about the story. What really got us talking about Bitcoin was the guy in Edmonton who was selling his house for the first time, one of 400,000 in Bitcoins. So I think the best way to look at this, this is a proxy for the mistrust individuals have of central bankers. If you're willing to take Bitcoin as a currency, a virtual Barbie currency to me, uh, it, it, it has no basis, no central banker, no hard asset behind it. But if you don't trust any other currency, this is where you go. So it, it's essentially what's happening here, Heather, people all- All right, I'm not gonna play the whole, the whole video, but here's the funny thing. He was for Bitcoin before this. This was 2013, this video. And I think it was like 2011, he was for Bitcoin sometime around there. Then he was against it in 2013. I mean, harshly against it, right? Because I'm assuming because he was still filling his bags. And now you've got, uh, and this was posted by a digital asset investor, um, uh, O'Leary's been, oh, it crashed. Let's see if I can get this to work. Looks like the link is gone. So essentially, essentially, um, it says Kevin O'Leary has been activated, Bitcoin ETF inbound. So Kevin O'Leary, and the link's not working for some reason, but essentially he now is interested in putting 5% of his investments in Bitcoin. He went from it being, what did he call it? Uh, um, shooting aliens in a video game money to Barbie money to now he's going to put 5% of his money in it, which I think is very, very interesting. It looks like, um, let's see if I can get back up and running here. Okay. I'm back up and running. Wow. A little crash there. All right. So from Michael at VAL five link quantum breakthrough new device is, I don't even know what this is a hundred billion times faster than than leading supercomputer researchers say. So apparently they have this quantum breakthrough device. Um, you know, the question is if they have a computer like this, if they have a chip like this and they're able to work this fast, I wonder if they'll be able to mine the rest of Bitcoin faster than it was originally designed to be mined. So I find that interesting. I know that's been one of the concerns about quantum computing, whether or not people, somebody be able to do that. This I thought was funny when you enter the space of cryptocurrencies versus when you experience a full market cycle. So uh, here, here you see this actor from from here to here, which uh, you know a lot of us through the bear market, it has been exhausting and and beat a lot of people up. But if you believed in it uh, and and you knew what you were invested in, you made it through. So that's the most important thing. Just a reminder, guys. Link to tomorrow is having their global conference, so you should sign up. I'll be in there. Um, and, and potentially I'll ask questions if I have any questions for any of the people that are presenting, but, uh, Adam Trademan's going to be there and some of these other folks are going to be there. Um, go to link to.com. You can go to their, um, you can go to their, uh, Twitter page and get signed up here as well. 
But, uh, and also you can download their app. If you download their app and register on the app, you'll get invited to all of their functions online. And, um, and if you're an accredited investor, you can invest in their products, which is pre-IPO um, private shares of companies, So, which is very, very exciting. And they just added Acorn as one of their companies, which is a really, really cool company. If you're not familiar with Acorn, you should probably take a look at it. It's a very, very interesting company. Um, which, uh, which essentially, I, I believe people can, people can put their credit cards on this app, and every time they make a purchase, it'll round up to the next dollar, and then take that money. Let's say it was, you know, fifty cents or thirty cents, whatever it is, and then invest that in stocks. So it's really, really cool. It forces people to invest. So I think Acorn is a really, really cool thing. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, Clinton Donnelly. So I am speaking with Clinton Donnelly. I have some questions about taxes and I was hoping to have the answers to you guys in this video, but I wasn't able to get it together. Um, I have questions for Clinton and, and he and I are going to get together this week and he's going to answer them for me. Um, and, and as soon as I get them, I'm going to get you the answers as far as what the Spark airdrop has, what implications that has to do with taxes for people in the United States. Also, if XRP gets deemed a... Um, currency, how that's going to affect taxes compared to how taxes would be this year. So for instance, I want to know if XRP reaches a point where I might want to sell some, should I do it this year? Assuming if they're going to change the tax, um, uh, the taxes uh, situation for next year, like what will be more beneficial? Because I don't want to hold till next year if I'm already at a sell point this year that you know because it's going to be uh, it's going to cost me more money. So I'm going to ask Clinton some questions. I'm going to get back with you guys on the answers to those questions as soon as possible and I want to get them this week to you because the airdrops coming on Spark so it's very very important. Um, and this was from Cool Wallet. They shared this with me and they wanted me to let you guys know that Cool Wallet um, Great news, Cool Water and XRP fans, we're supporting the Spark airdrop on 1212. You'll soon be able to apply for Flare Network's airdrop directly through a cool bit uh, X crypto app. Here's how. So um, just want to let you know about Cool Wallet. They're going to be um, cooperating, which is great. Last thing I want to share with you, this is from Napoleon Hill, at Napoleon underscore Hill, who's one of my favorite authors. He wrote the book, Think and Grow Rich. If you ever want to listen to a book on tape or read a book that will change your life, uh, think and grow rich guys that's the one and it says the man who does more than he is paid for will soon be paid for more than he does believe it it's true okay guys uh thanks for listening today i'm not a financial advisor i'm not an accountant i'm not an arborist and i'm not a crypto expert these are my opinions only don't make any financial decisions based on anything i say please like and subscribe hey the easiest way to help the channel and it's 100% free is just to hit the like button and I really appreciate if you guys do it. Uh, also, it's free to subscribe to the channel. Um, I've worked that out with YouTube. You guys don't pay a, ton, a dime. Just hit the subscribe button and share my videos with anybody you think might appreciate them and everyone have a fantastic day. Oh, before we leave, let's check out the price of XRP. Sometimes it increases when I show my, when I'm doing a video. So it's at 61 cents, guys. We uh, we up 61.6107. So we did increase the price of XRP by watching one of my videos and me recording this video. Excellent. Good work. Take care. Bye-bye.